Hi friends, as you might be aware, OpenAI has just released their most advanced AI system, GPT-4, within a few months of launching ChatGPT. So the world is still grappling with the impact of ChatGPT, what it can do and what it cannot do. But in the meanwhile, OpenAI has now released GPT-4, which they claim is far more advanced has been trained on a much broader base and is far more accurate. Now, how can you access it? You can access it using ChatGPT Plus if you already have that subscription, or you could also join the API waitlist. What we would do in this video today is have a look at what GPT-4 looks like. How does it compare to ChatGPT? How can you access it? And some early impressions which I have formed by playing around with it for a few minutes, right? So let's look at what OpenAI says about GPT-4. Now GPT-4, according to OpenAI, has greater accuracy because it has broader knowledge and better problem solving capabilities. And they are giving a few examples here, which are very interesting. So for creativity, GPT-4 can create a story where each alphabet starts with the next letter in between A to Z. So this is very, very mind boggling, but they also show how GPT-4 can take text inputs and generate visual outputs. It can create captions, classifications and whatnot. It can also handle larger context. So GPT-4 is capable of handling 25,000 words which is much higher than what ChatGPT was able to do. Next, OpenAI shares some examples of the output of ChatGPT versus GPT-4. And what it looks like is that not only the reasoning capabilities are better, but the outcome is also far more sharper. We'll look at some of these when we play with both the models. So in terms of benchmarks, which OpenAI has shared, they share a benchmark called Uniform Bar Exam, which I believe is an exam which lawyers take and the higher the score, the better it is. So if chat GPT was scoring 10 on it, GPT-4 can score 90th on it. So uh, again, looks impressive. Uh, and what we'll do next is see how it is something which you can access as an end user. So first of all, uh, what I did was I got a chat GPT subscription. Now, if you are someone who are based out of India, this in itself is a problem because the RBI regulations don't allow subscription from OpenAI. What I did was essentially I asked one of my friends in US who was very helpful to get the subscription to me. So if you like what I am doing, do subscribe. We'll come back with a lot more resources on what is possible with GPT-4, chat GPT and generative AI in general. Now, when you open this interface, as you can see, there is now an option to select different models which are there in the same interface. And there are three models which OpenAI is providing. There is default GPT 3.5. There is legacy GPT 3.5. Both of these were for o chat GPT. And there is GPT 4. Now, if you look at it, the default GPT 3.5 looks like a fine-tuned model which has been built for speed, right? So it is really fast and, and uh, it is very evident when you use it. However, the reasoning capabilities as per OpenAI are 3 out of 5. And in terms of conciseness, it's 2 out of 5, right? Now, if you compare it to legacy GPT 3.5, which was what the previous chat GPT model was powered by, the speed and conciseness both are lower than what the current default is. The interesting bit is GPT 4, where OpenAI claims that the reasoning is 5 out of 5. That's a big claim to make. And also the conciseness is 4 out of 5. So compared to the what we have seen till now, what OpenAI claims is that the reasoning has gone up two notches 
and conciseness has also doubled up on that scale. Now we'll look at some of these things in more details in future, but let me just show what this means. So what I did was I had an experiment with chat GPT where I asked it, who is Kunal Jain from analytics with them. And as you could see, uh, it got me the response, which looks a little bit verbose. Uh, and when I asked some specific questions, right? So what is education of Kunal? The model got that wrong. So I did my bachelor's and master's from IIT Bombay in aerospace engineering. It clearly said that I had bachelor's in electrical engineering from IIT Roorkee. It also says that I have done my MBA from ISB. So what you see is that the hallucination problem is very evident here. So when chat gpt doesn't know the answer it will make up the answer and it will come across as a very confident answer right so this is a larger problem however uh, what we see are two things using the current chat gpt model the answers are relatively verbose and also there is a lot of misinformation when you ask specific questions now when i do the same thing with gpt4 what you see is that the answers have become a lot more precise and sharper. And also the error on specific questions has gone down. So uh, it got my education institute right this time and there is no mention of MBA. So clearly they have done something to improve the accuracy and it has also made the model sharper. Both of these are, I think, phenomenal improvements in the time frame we have seen. Now, what we would do is obviously go in more details on each of these examples uh, and, and a few other tests which I'll run going forward. But what is very evident is that GPT-4 has more evolved capabilities compared to chat GPT. If you have any questions which you would want me to answer, drop them in the comments. And while I am experimenting with GPT-4 and chat GPT, I'll try and cover those and answer those questions in the next set of videos. Thank you.